All right, guys. So in this video, we'll solve a problem called parentheses check balance parentheses of the check, right? So we'll pass a string to a function, and what it will check for us that if uh, that if and what it will check for us that the parentheses inside the string are balanced, balanced or are balanced or not. So if I have an opening bracket, should be paired with a closing this, you know. All of these are balanced, you know, so this entire string is a balanced. So it will, so this entire string is balanced. So it should return true, right? However, if I have a string where here you can see I have just an opening, I have an opening, I have an opening bracket here, right? But uh, th there is no, but the pair is, but the pair is missing, right? So here it will return false. So if the string is, let's say, S, right? Uh, this can be square, then curly, then this curly, right? And we'll create a set. Okay, this is the string which we'll pass to the phone. We'll, we'll, we'll create a set, opening equals to set. And inside the set, we'll have all the opening strings, like opening, opening brackets. So curly, square, bracket, right? Matches, we have set uh, brackets. And okay, yeah, so we are making pair, right? With the with the left square uh, paired with the right square, left curly pair paired with the right curly, uh, left bracket pair pair with the right right bracket, right right, and then and then and then we'll create an empty stack. Now we'll we'll use the stack. And okay, first of all we'll traverse through the string, right? Let's say I take some variable. Let's say um, P. Okay, it will it will traverse traverse through the string. So it will first okay the first character of the string it will check if it's present in opening right. If it's present in opening, this character will be added to the stack right. Then then it will again again then it will again go back. Then the second string it will also be added to the stack because it's present in opening. Third string it is also present in the stack right? then the next string okay then the then the next then the next then the next character it is not present in opening. now what we'll do we'll create one more variable uh, maybe l right what we'll do with l we'll store the characters which will which will be popped out of the stack right now when the now we have found now when we have found a character which is not present in opening we will we will pop out the elements from the stack and we'll store it in l right after that and then and then we'll put an if condition and we'll check if p comma l is present in the match right if it's not we will return will will return false and the program ends there right because just one wrong pair is enough to declare that whether the stack is a so whether the string whether the string has balanced parentheses or not right similarly we'll move on to the next string next string has a right right curly bracket is it present in the opening no it's not present in the opening right so p is not present in the opening so what we'll do We'll pop, we'll pop an element from the stack, which will be uh, this bracket and we'll store it in L. Now here the P is curly bracket and L is um, left one, right? Okay, so this pair is not P comma L, it's L comma P, right? And we'll check that if L comma P is present in the match. Is present in the match. So yes, we can see that it's present in the match. So we won't be returning false, right? Next, we'll move to the square. Again, we'll check if it's present in opening. No, it's not. It's not pre present in opening, right? So we won't store it in the stack, but we'll pop an element from the stack and we'll again store it back to L, right? So again, we'll check P is a square. P is a right square and left and, and, and L is a left square. We'll check if um, L comma P is present in matches. Yes, it is present in match. So we won't return. And in the end, and after the loop ends, let's say all of these, all of them match. And after the loop ends, let's say uh, 
let's say this this string is a balanced parenthesis then we'll just return if length of then we'll return a boolean length of stack is equal to zero or not because all the elements which were pushed inside in the beginning all of the left left brackets if they have found their matches so all must have been popped out of the stack and the length of stack will be zero in this case it will return it will return true but let's say we have a case where uh, where where we have where we have all the matches uh, but in the end there is one more open there's one more one more bracket which is just left which is just a left hand side bracket it doesn't have a match with it so in such a case the length of stack will not be equal to zero because there will still be an element left inside right there will still be an there will still be an element left inside so in such a case um, it will it will it will return false right but if this left bracket has a pair then 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 we then we'll then we'll again then then this loop will go on and find the match of l comma p and it will compare that if the pair exists and the matches or not right so of course there will be some edge cases i'll 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 explain them while i uh, while i write the code while, while we implement this in python all right so let's define the function find check inside pass a string I have an edge case here the first thing without executing a complicating code only we can check an edge case here that if the length that if if the parentheses are balanced for sure they will be the 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 minimal the minimal requirement is this should be divisible by two that's the minimum we want before even we start writing a code right that it should at least be divisible by that the, that the number of parentheses inside should be divisible by two. If it's not divisible by two, there itself we shall return false. Now next, I need an opening set. Inside that, I'll declare I'll include all the opening bracket. So and then matches. Then we have an empty stack. Then for P in S, each of these P is present in opening. Right? If it's present, it's a stack. Else, if a parenthesis is not present, it will, it will pop an element out from the stack. Right? And the pair should exist. Pairs should exist in in the matches. If it's not, if it's not in matches, then return false. And in the end, we'll return length of stack. Right? Like I explained, like if all the brackets found their pair, stack will be. We will store all the all the lefts, and then and then we'll pop, and we'll pop them out to match with the rights. If all of them found them found their matches, definitely the length of stack will be zero, and it will it will will return true, right? And if if that's not the case, if some bracket is left, right, open or closed, then it will will return for. Now here, when we uh, when we are when we are when we are traversing through the through the now here when we are are traversing uh, through the string, right? Now let's say the first the first element itself is a is a closing is a closing bracket is a closing is a closing parenthesis right so so it's definitely not in the it's definitely not in the opening set right so it will move to else and the first thing it will do is to pop is to pop a bracket from the set to find if 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 an element in its to find its opening pair to find its opening pair but then this is the first ever, but this is the first element, right? So definitely, it it, it won't it won't find any it won't it, thus thus, but it is the first it, but it is the but it is the first bracket, it is first bracket from the string, 
right so so by this time definitely we haven't filled up the stack with any opening with any opening opening brackets right opening or close brackets so that means the stack is empty right so we need to write a code here which manages this uh which 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 manages this case right so here if the bracket is not found in the opening bracket we'll check if the length of that stack is equal to zero right if it is equal to zero return false right because 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 for sure it because because um, because if we start with because if we start with a closing parenthesis right uh, if we start with a closing closing parenthesis definitely we need an opening one also which should be there in the stack already but then since we are starting only with this one it won't be there in the stack right so if length of stack is equal to zero in this case it will it will it will return false but this is not the same as as this one because this one we check after we are we are done with the loop right after the loop when we have stored all the all the opening when we have stored all the when we have stored all the opening opening brackets and 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 pop them out with their with their uh, closing pairs and pop them out with their with their and pop them out with their closing pairs then then at the end definitely the, the, the definitely the stack should be uh, empty right so if the stack is empty after this loop is done then it's a positive case right so in that case it will it will return true if uh, if 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 the string has balanced parenthesis right but 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 let's say all the brackets found their pairs and we still have a bracket left in the stack right so that also shows that uh, that it's not a balanced that it's not a balance that it's not a balance parenthesis right so there it will it will will return false because the stack is not empty right so let's see if the code will execute this i'll check inside this okay so because I haven't included the square brackets in the pair. So that's why it's returning false. Maybe it should work. Yeah. Yeah, it works. In the place balanced balanced parentheses like this. Inside. Yeah, so here also it works because here pairs if I have a close, if I have an opening bracket, I also have a closed one with it. And let's see if it works if I place an open, if I place a closed one right at the start. Uh, right. False. Right. And if I place it at the last. So it works. So let me know in the comment section if you have a better solution for this problem.